Hello and welcome to Sentinel Skills. Risk management plays a critical role in various industries, ensuring the safety of workers, protecting the environment, and maintaining the integrity of infrastructure and processes. Within the realm of risk management, the ALARP principle stands as a fundamental concept for minimizing risks to an acceptable level. ALARP, an acronym for, as low as reasonably practicable, is a guiding principle used in industries such as occupational health and safety, environmental protection, and engineering. ALARP embodies the objective of reducing risks to a level that is deemed reasonably practical. It acknowledges that it may not always be feasible or economically viable to completely eliminate risks, but rather focuses on minimizing them to an acceptable level. By adopting the ALARP principle, Organizations aim to strike a balance between the costs involved in implementing risk reduction measures and the benefits gained from mitigating those risks. Understanding the ALARP Principle Definition and Origin of ALARP The ALARP Principle originated from the field of risk management and has been widely adopted across various industries. It provides a structured approach to assess and manage risks, ensuring that they are reduced to a level that is reasonably practical. The principle acknowledges that complete elimination of risks may not always be feasible, but organizations have a responsibility to mitigate them as much as possible. Key Components of the ALARP Principle Balancing risk reduction and practicality The ALARP Principle recognizes the need to strike a balance between reducing risks to an acceptable level and the practicality of implementing risk reduction measures. It acknowledges that there are limits to what can be reasonably achieved in terms of risk mitigation, taking into account factors such as available resources, technological constraints, and societal expectations. Factors considered the ALARP principle takes into consideration several factors when assessing risks. These include the severity of potential harm that could occur, the likelihood of the harm happening, the feasibility of implementing risk control measures, and the cost-effectiveness of those measures. Comparison to other risk management principles While the ALARP principle is widely used, it is important to note its distinction from other risk management principles. One notable comparison is the precautionary principle, which emphasizes taking preventive action in the face of uncertain risks, even without conclusive evidence. In contrast, the ALARP principle focuses on risk-benefit analysis considering practicality and feasibility in addition to the severity and likelihood of harm. It promotes a systematic approach to risk management, allowing organizations to make informed decisions based on a balance of factors. Application of ALARP in different industries. Occupational health and safety. Ensuring the safety and well-being of workers is a paramount concern in industries such as construction, manufacturing, mining, and healthcare. The ALARP principle is highly applicable in these sectors, as it provides a systematic approach to identifying and managing workplace hazards. By conducting thorough risk assessments, organizations can prioritize the implementation of control measures to reduce risks to an acceptable level. This may involve engineering controls like machine guarding, administrative controls like training and procedures, and personal protective equipment, PPE. Environmental protection. Industries with potential environmental impacts, such as energy production, waste management, and chemical manufacturing, must adhere to stringent regulations and guidelines. The ALARP principle is vital in minimizing the environmental risks associated with these activities. This may involve implementing pollution control technologies, waste management practices, and environmental monitoring systems. The ALARP principle assists in determining the most feasible and cost-effective measures to reduce environmental risks and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. Engineering and Design In engineering and design processes, the ALARP principle is crucial for mitigating risks associated with infrastructure projects, product development, and system design. By considering the potential harm and likelihood of failure, engineers and designers can incorporate safety features and risk control measures. The ALARP principle aids in making informed decisions on risk reduction strategies, optimizing design choices, 
and ensuring the integrity and safety of engineering projects. Implementing ALARP, Risk Assessment and Control Measures. Risk Assessment Process. To effectively implement the ALARP principle, organizations follow a structured risk assessment process. This process involves several key steps. Identification and evaluation of hazards organizations identify potential hazards within their operations or projects. Each identified hazard is then evaluated to determine its severity and the potential harm it may cause. Quantifying risks based on severity and likelihood risks are quantified by assessing the severity of potential harm and the likelihood of the harm occurring. Severity may be determined by considering the potential impact on human health, the environment, or assets. The likelihood is evaluated based on historical data, expert opinions, or statistical analysis. Hierarchy of control measures. Once risks are identified and quantified, organizations implement control measures in a systematic manner, following a hierarchy of controls. This hierarchy prioritizes measures that are more effective in reducing risks. Elimination and substitution of risks at the source. Engineering controls and safeguards. Administrative controls and procedures. Personal protective equipment, PPE. Legal and regulatory considerations in ALARP implementation. When implementing ALARP, organizations must consider legal and regulatory requirements. Compliance with applicable laws, standards, and industry guidelines is essential to ensure that risk reduction measures meet the necessary criteria. Challenges and limitations of ALARP. While the ALARP principle provides a valuable framework for risk management, it is important to acknowledge the challenges and limitations that organizations may encounter in its application. Balancing cost and benefit analysis. Organizations must assess the financial feasibility of implementing control measures and consider factors such as the potential impact on productivity, operational costs, and profitability. It can be challenging to justify significant investments in risk reduction, particularly when the likelihood of a severe incident occurring is low. Subjectivity in risk assessment and decision making. Risk assessment and decision making inherently involve subjective judgment and interpretation. Different individuals or organizations may have varying perceptions of what is considered reasonably practical in risk reduction. This subjectivity can lead to inconsistencies in risk management approaches and decision making processes. Criticisms of ALARP approach. The ALARP principle has faced criticisms from various perspectives. Some argue that it can be interpreted in a way that allows organizations to justify accepting higher risks by deeming them reasonably practical. Critics suggest that this interpretation can potentially lead to inadequate risk reduction measures and a lack of sufficient protection for workers, the environment, and the public. Critics emphasize the need for more objective and quantifiable criteria in risk management practices. The ALARP principle serves as a fundamental concept in risk management, providing organizations with a structured approach to minimize risks to an acceptable level. By striking a balance between risk reduction and practicality, organizations can effectively manage risks and create safer environments for their workforce, protect the environment, and ensure the integrity of their operations. While challenges and criticisms exist, the ALARP principle remains a widely adopted approach in various industries. Through the implementation of thorough risk assessments, adherence to a hierarchy of control measures, and consideration of legal and regulatory requirements, organizations can apply the ALARP principle to make informed decisions and prioritize resources for risk reduction. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please like and share. Do subscribe to our channel for more informative and educational videos. Goodbye.